Hello everybody, my name is Eric the Gamer, and welcome back to the whole alternate history thing. I kind of messed up. I forgot to save, and uh, that's a really bad thing. It's a terrible thing. So, that means I'm just going to start at 300, and all I did to make sure that everything kind of went down the same way is I divided the two empires. Don't ask why that's still a part of Westrum. Same with Antioch. I have no idea. But it is what it is. So. Let's um just let's just watch this and see what happens. I'll end it at about four hundred AD. Or C E as I would like to call it. The common era. Who are they allied with? They're not even allied with West Rome. West Rome is already getting some harsh treatment from the particularists. There's the Gallic separatists again. We've seen them come in and be like, ooh, ah, ooh, tiki tiki, and just mess Rome up. We've got a bunch of Brigantian separatists here. So we should look out for a large Brigantia. Looks like. Byzantium is not having a much better time either. There's some Hellenic zealots messed around. There's some separatists over there. The world just not the best time in the world. So hopefully West Rome falls. Hopefully most of Byzantium falls again. Hopefully, because I want it to be the same as it was before. I mean, it looks like they're going to fall, so... Because uh, the Hellenic Zealots are kind of messing stuff up. West Rome is not having a good time either. They're getting booty raped. So, yeah, it's, it's not a good time to be a Roman today. Look at how many brigand... Okay, that's an Iceni Separatist. All I can say is that they need to take a fort, otherwise it's just going to keep reverting back. But they do have a lot of separatists, so... Brigantian, 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 Colerti, Not Brigantian, not Brigantian. Duo Turge, Duo Dumurian, whatever. So, um, yeah, it looks like all this stuff is going to be seated very soon. I just mentioned Rome has been taken, by the way. How's Byzantium holding out? Not much better. All of their Egyptian provinces are, uh, not having a good time, that's for sure. Look at this, the Red Sea, isn't that cool? Now what? what? What should we look at? Let's check out Jin. This is the uh, Jin Dynasty in China, it looks like. Also, how come it, this isn't the capital of China? Because that looks like it'd be literally the perfect spot for a capital. Like, genuinely. And there's no real major force in Japan yet. I mean, Nivki has kind of taken over this northern island. So, I mean, they have they're in a good position, that's for sure. We got a nice little Mongolish empire up here. I don't see any actual Mongol thingy though yet. Except the Huns, but nobody cares about them. Okay, this guy is somewhat weakened. They're not as powerful as they could be. There's Kalai and Artoi right there. Hopefully France uh, gets... Hopefully the big big army of France comes in is like Uka Chaka and just takes everything over. Galicia has been separated again. We're going to see a lot of the same thing, but that's because I messed up. So, Urbino is coming back. Byzantium, yet again, has taken this peninsula. Egypt has been malformed this time around. I'm 
Brigantia has this nice little coastal empire going on in the British Isles. Hopefully they declare war on West Rome and just take it out. You know what I'm saying? Kick out all these rebels. Have a good time. Take over Great Britain. Except it's not Great Britain, it's Great Brigantia. Now, it's Great Brita Brigantia. Apparently. Also, yet again, the Chalcedonian faith did not have enough time to spread around. I mean, East, this really like this state is Chalcedonian as well as I guess not West. Well, West Rome is Hellenic. I changed them to Chalcedonian right before I quit them, but uh, I guess it didn't work. So whatever. That's cool, I guess. That's a thing. But what do we got now? Got some uh, battles, or not battles, well, just occupation for Byzantium over there. Then we've got, I mean, Gallia is doing okay. It looks like they're suffering from some Hellenic rebels as well. Francia is doing good. Hopefully they don't get attacked by Frisia anytime soon. Because Frisia is just completely randomly scary sometimes. Frisia is like, and just attacks out of, out of nowhere because they got all this so yeah late classical age the dark ages migration age okay that's whenever the mongol empire is like oh and just attacks europe and is like ha 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 okay there's a lot of action going on over here let's check out japan what do you guys got going on what about she Shukuku. Shukuku. Yeah, Shukuku. But anyways, Jin looks like they're in a pretty good position at the moment. Instead of Zhu and Wei or Bongi or whatever the others were. Jin China is pretty nice. How well is their stability? Their stability is plus three. So they're a pretty solid empire at the moment. How's India looking? India has three, three, maybe four major powers. Those guys, those guys, those guys, and maybe those guys. These guys, they're, they have potential if they take out all of those provinces up here, unite all this stuff, unite up here, you know, take it down south. That's what I would do if I were them. Who's this? The Maldives. Okay. Axum, they're doing okay. How's Egypt doing? Egypt is... And they're also Hellenic for some reason. So, that's completely different than Islamic Egypt. Egypt. So, we've got... Well, Byzantium's actually holding out okay. They're not doing really good. I mean, they have this one army that can probably take out all the rebels in a single battle. Like, in a 1v1. Like, this army versus that army, or that entire army versus that entire army, versus this army, maybe. Okay, they're doing okay. But like I said, once West Roman or Byzantium run out of manpower, it's it's really terrible. Like, it's a bad ton. Like, life just ends up not being a good time for them. Okay, what's going on over here? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, I mean, this is pretty similar to what happened last time. Venice is probably going to come out of here. Eventually. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much what's going to happen. You know, I hope Byzantium actually survives the whole game. Like, I genuinely think it'd be awesome if they did. West Rome, probably not, because they have a bunch more foes up here. They have Gallia, they got Francia, they got just the massive German Germanic hordes. Who's this occupied by? Those guys? No, no it's not Brigantia. Those guys? Those guys. They're actually going to take a lot of stuff. Where are those guys from? Is that those guys? No, it's Ulster. What is it, Durotringa? Is that it? 
Uh, that's pneumonia. Then Ulster has a Manan, the Isle of Man, whatever. Okay. That's, um. Oh, Byzantium, my boys. Looks like they're at war with the Assassins. That. Uh, that is not a good time. That's absolutely terrible. What can I say except, uh oh. Oh, and Osteron's dead. Osteron doesn't even exist anymore, so. Commentator's curse, I guess. I would hope that I hope that Byzantium would uh last most of the game, but uh nah, it doesn't look like they will. Looks like they're gonna not have a good time. Okay, that's it's they're not having a good time. Byzantium appears to be really weak at the moment. Same with West Rome, they don't have any armies. As far as I can tell. And also Urbino has come back in the Italian peninsula. We just have Gallia, Gallia here. And they're Hellenic, it looks like. So it turns out the Hellenic faith is apparently going to be super dominant in Europe. It looks like it is what's going to happen here. You know what I'm saying? Because by this time, I'm pretty sure Christianity and Chalcedonianism or whatever spread around. So we'll see what happens. British, British, or just Albion, I guess we'll call it, is completely Druidist. Um, it's Norse up here, no surprise. Confucian. Because of Confucius. Pretty cool guy. We got Shinto over here, whatever, whatever that is. Basically Japanese Confucius, I think. Probably. We got Yemen. Yeah, man, we got Yemen. Um... I honestly like Gallia. Gallia is pretty cool. I also like Byzantium, but uh, I don't know how well they're gonna do because they're they have 2k army and that's about it. They have a 2,000 man army to defend all of their promises or their provinces, not promises. No, why I said provinces. This is occupied by Gallia. So Gallia, no, it's Galicia. So Galicia is going balls deep in. They're gonna try to take m m a lot more of Rome. It looks like whatever's left of it, anyways. So yeah, it looks like they're not having a good time. And there are also Gallic Separatists, looks like. But the Gallians, looks like they did pretty good. Who are they at war with? Oh, okay, Gallia, I think. Whoa. It's a lot of rebels, my guys. Are you doing okay? Imagine if all of their pretender rebels were actually their armies instead. That would make Rome so much more powerful. But no, they can't do that, so... Also, Urbino has all this now. They took those two provinces. And Byzantium is still just struggling to make it, I guess. They're doing their best, but they're not... I don't know how well they're going to be able to do. You know? Um... Gallia is suffering from Druidist rebellions. Don't think they're going to be able to handle that that well. F in the chat for Gallia. Galicia has occupied most of Iberia, it looks like, so they're probably going to take that in a couple the next couple wars. Jin is taking some more land up this way, some more up this way. As far as I can tell, at least. So, hopefully you guys do something with this. Hold on to that. Have a good time with it. Enjoy it while it lasts, because North Korea might, you know, emerge from Goryeo. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty much the current state of the world.
four major powers, I guess, if you even want to consider Westrom a major power, because it's not even a power. It's just death. You know what? Mazab is the best power in the world. Like, look at this dude. Look at this dude right here. This is the man of the future. Man of the future. How's Britannia going? Do we have a united Wessex area? We have this coastal region, which is Brigantia still. And also West Rome still has two, two or so provinces here. Why have they not taken... I, I don't... Okay, whatever. The, the British Isles is just messed up. And Denmark is just chilling here, waiting for whatever comes their way. Then Hanover is just there. No, I hope Frankia. Oh, did Gallia just take some more stuff? I don't know what happened. I mean, Gallia looks a little bigger, so I would assume so. I mean, Byzantium's holding out. They're not doing the best, but they're they're doing their best to hold out. You know what I'm saying? Can I just mention how is it still owned by West Rome? Where was that other province that was owned by restaurant? Wasn't it down here? If it was, it's dead. This whole little area is all West Rome's got anymore. Even this little settlement, Eturia, is uh, is there now. Wow, West Rome actually uh, occupied a city? I don't even see any Western Roman armies anywhere. So I don't know how that even happened. Brabantian rebels, it looks like. Brabant. Flemish rebels. I don't see any French rebels yet. We'll see what happens. I mean, Gallia is probably going to be the next France. That's all I have to say. Oh, and they're also taking uh, Bordeaux and such. Bordeaux, whatever. This, this area. So hopefully they get a lot of southern provinces. Maybe even take over this area. Anyway, I'm rooting for Gallia. Gallia, whatever. I'm rooting for him. Even though they are completely druidish now, I'm sure that'll all change eventually. How's Byzantium holding out? Okay, it does appear that Christianity is starting to take a little bit of root around this area. You know what I'm saying? This, this place is Chalcedonian. There's no real other places. I mean, there are a couple others that, I mean, those are state religions, so. Yeah, there's a couple of Chalcedonian there. There's some Chalcedonian up there as well. And here's the Chalcedonian province as well. So it will spread to Europe eventually, because for some random reason, Chalcedonian, like Chalcedonian faith is like buffed. And like you get two provinces of it and it just starts spreading everywhere. So, whereas Druidism is just kind of like, hi, how are you? Hey, please don't kill me, please. And then they get killed anyways. So how's Brig Brigantia doing? I, I want them to uh, unite the British Isles. Honestly, I like the name Brigantium the most, and it just sounds awesome. Ooh, what did they take? Oh, they took over here. Man, those guys are good. They just took a big chunk out of this. So Gali is a pretty, pretty decent, half decent empire for the most part. Maybe they'll try to reform Rome, even though Rome still exists. You know what I'm saying? There's only 345, and Rome is already having a bad time. It hasn't completely fallen yet, but there's very little hope. Cause uh, I mean, they they're still holding on to this Carthage. Well, maybe not. But I mean, Byzantium, they've still got a cup, Sicily, they've got Sicily, and they've got, Westrom is Malta still, as well as Westrom still has Antioch for some reason. I still don't get why they got that, that should have gone to, uh, what, East Rome, Byzantium, you know? So it just makes very little sense. Yeah, so there's just a bunch of rebels, kind of, or not even rebels at this point. There's other people. 
other empires trying to go through and conquer. Where's Byzantium on this place? Why are you there? And why is there a missionary there? Just leave people be. Let them do what they want to do. Alright, what have you got? You got... Okay, that's West Rome. I still don't get why this place is still just... Oh, the British Isles is bugged for some reason. This place is occupied by all mania. Navarre is back. Um, Galicia is going to take over more of Iberia. Occupied by Urbino. So Urbino is going to try to take out the rest of the peninsula. Is what it looks like it's going to go on here. Is that Galicia? Yeah, okay, sure. Who's Gal Gallia even allied with? That, I feel like it's a valid question. Who are allied with Leinster? Okay, not too bad. They're also allied with Pictland, which isn't bad. Cherusia, Cherusia. Which isn't too bad either. Where are they? Where's Cherusia? Oh, that is bad. You, you guys are uh, not doing too the best. Demonia, I don't know where that is, so I'm not even going to try. Pictland, okay, we really looked at Pictland. So they're doing okay, they they got a good uh, good deed going on here. Who knows, imagine Gallic, uh, Gallic United States, Gallic Mexico, Gallic Brazil, Gallic Australia. Just imagine all that. Gallic Africa, even. Who's that owned by? What by Maori? The Maori? It's these lads. What are you guys doing? Are you going to take over those those pots? I mean, that'd be a good move. You get Gibraltar, which is a very important trade node. Not going to lie. I mean, Byzantium, they're kind of holding out. I mean, they're trying to stick up in this area, it looks like. <sighs> well... Okay, so that's occupied by Urbino. They just took Rome. They took some other stuff as well in the southern peninsulas. Is Gallia going to go to war with Rome anytime soon? 356. So in probably four years, they'll take another chunk out of Rome. I really hope they take this area, because this is a really valuable spot to have. Just the whole Aragonese area, as well as the Aquitanian era, area. It's a pretty good spot to hold. Um, in my playthrough of France... I should have been about 1300, and I went, I've gone up to about 1700 on my own computer. So I started he, like I started up here, obviously, but I made this my capital. Took over all of Spain, took over all of Italy. I've got this nice little chunk here, taking a decent chunk out of Germany. Got maybe this much out of them, and then Egypt is just a massive thing. And then we even had Byzantium as our vassals at one point, or our junior partners, but nah. They hate us for forcing them into that. Then we had a, a new border you, which is basically the United States, and it was like from here over. And then we had a new France, which is from like which is literally just most of up there. And then we had Antilles, which is literally all of this. And then we won a bunch of Brit like French Columbia, as well as French Mexico, in a war with the British. We just took all this all the way up to there, all the all that from them. Then we settled all of this, made French California, and French Mex Mexico started here. And then there was, for some reason, Byzantine Cascadia. We never actually settled up there. It's France. France. We got close. And then we had French Equatorial Africa. We had French Gold Coast over there. Those are the only two African colonies I had. We had one here that I never actually got fully started because I messed up on the charter thingy. And then we had French Australia, which had basically all of this coast here. And I was starting to settle a little inland. I even had there. Then we had French Pacifica, which was all of New Zealand, some of that, and then some of the islands out here. So that was the French colonial empire in my game. Hopefully, I don't know, we'll see a repeat of that. And we started colonizing in like the late 1400s. Like we got, like it was pretty good. That was the, as soon as it was possible. I researched the New World, and we started colonizing islands to get over here. Like, since we had taken out Spain, we could go from here to here to here to here. Then eventually, once we had enough uh, colonization at Rome, 
We also went here, and then we went up to about here, here, and then we were able to colonize everything from here. So it went pretty good, honestly. We we're at 359 CE. It's pretty nice. Hmm. Ah. Cappadocia. Okay, Byzantium is just getting ravaged by peasants and such still. They just can't catch a break. Okay, so they are at... Their truce with, with uh, West Rome has ended. They are fighting some rebellions right now. Frankish separatists. Oh, they took some of Francia, didn't they? Oh, those lads. Absolute mad lads. They're just kind of following them, taking the provinces that they take. That's a pretty good strategy, honestly. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they could probably win that battle. But they're kind of playing it safe, just following wherever they go, taking their settle taking the settlements they take. I mean, it's not a bad strategy. West Rome separatist, Scalia. Gaelic? I mean, this is cool. Like, I like Gallia. It's nice. Especially if they conquer this area. Uh, let's check up on these guys. Jin got the same. Nivki. Okay, you guys are doing good. They conquered some more in the mainland. Waka. Awari has taken some more land, it looks like. So, there's ma four major areas. There's those guys, those guys, those guys. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's five major powers at the moment. I had to choose. I put my money on this guy, this uh, this group, or that those guys. Maybe those guys, because these guys only have like six provinces. There's a one, two, three, four, five, six. There's these probably have more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, these guys definitely have the most though. So I put my money on. Honestly, anybody. It could be anybody's game. How's Korea doing? Korea's divided. Uh, okay. Jin is just kind of chilling there. Modern China's borders go all the way up to here. So, uh, look out for that. Galway is getting assaulted from... Okay, they're at war with Almania, and they also have a bunch of peasants... Maybe peasants, I don't know, but a bunch of rebels going around. So that's not good for them. It's very not good for them. It's actually a bad time for them. How, how What's this guy doing? They're from Trusia. Oh, no. Why is Trusia here? Okay, so they're... Oh, they're allied with uh, with uh, Galia, so that's good. They have their allies. So that's a good thing. Are you guys going to take those guys out anytime soon? Because they just took out that city there. I'm not sure you guys want that to happen. Basconia, apparently. There's also Galicia over here. They've taken more of Iberia. They now have some Animus Zealots. So that's not good. Oh, the Aryan religion is starting to spread out as well. So, that's kind of nice, I guess. And there's no Holy Roman Empire yet. Colonial and trade regions, yeah, we don't, we don't need to see that yet. Dynastic. This is the... Portaborian, whatever, Botanites. The Allen. Constantinian? Whoa. So that's the cons okay, that's that's cool. That's awesome. I'm rooting for Gallia now. Hands down, I want Gallia to win this. I'm proud of I hope Gallia does pretty good. Like come on, they're doing good so far. The big green blob, you know what I'm saying? Doing okay, I just hope they don't make the same mistake I have done as France. Get into a massive war with all of the Germans and then Who's basically Brittany, you know, have to release a bunch of small states. It, it sucks. It's not a good time. There's nothing really going on up here. Stuff is still kind of glitched and buggy up here. There have been a couple places. 
but nothing too severe is happening. West Rome is kind of reduced to just a small f few provinces here and there. Somehow West Rome is holding on to this. So Os Osserone does exist. And Palmyra is over there. And Osserone is no longer a little empire thingy underneath the Byzantines. So that's enough. We got 30 more years and then we're done with this episode. So this episode, I guess, is a little bit... Okay, and Venice is finally back. Good. So we're most of the way to where we were last episode. I guess it's slightly more interesting. Um, Burgundy and Burgundy? How did Burgundy get all this? It was probably a rebellion or something. But uh, Gallia... Oh, you know, that's Galicia. Dang it! I was hoping uh, Gallia would take that, but whatever. Gallia's got their own problems with Burgundy and such. Gallia, Des Moines, Lancaster, and Picton. So Picton's actually coming down and helping them out here. Frisia is at war with... Oh, no. Gallia is not going to have a good time. No, Gallia. I don't think they got this in the bag. It's going to be a rough time for Gallia here. I mean, if Burgundy does take it all out, then okay, I guess. Because there's probably going to be some French rebels anyways. As long as either France or Gallia gets all this, as long as Burgundy doesn't get it, because Burgundy is stinky, poopy, smelly, Burgundy is stinky, so nobody wants Burgundy to win. Well, somebody probably does, but I don't know. Who even is in the first place right now? Yeah, well, we'll check at the very end, okay? We'll check at the end, like the very, very end. Once we hit 2020, we'll see who won. Oh, okay, they're doing that really stupid, cheaty tactic in the game, where they don't have to win the province after the war, they literally just take it during the war. That's that, that's the most annoying thing when you play is, like, Rome, or in an early game. Because, like, you'll all your armies will be down here, fighting these guys or whatever, and one single really small German faction... As, like, two provinces will send their, like, 5k army completely split it up. And they'll somehow raid each province. They'll raid, like, 20 or 30 provinces. And how it works is, whenever you raid a province, it automatically will get added to your empire in eight months after you take it. See? It's, it's automatically happening. I really hate this feature because it's so cheaty, it's glitchy, it's, it's terrible. It's just, it's bad. It's just bad. It's literally a cheat tactic, and I don't like it. But, as long as the AI do it to each other, and they don't do it to me, then we're good. I'm good with that. I am G-O-O-O-D with that. Okay, Hanover is taking over Denmark, it looks like. Yeah. D d d oh, also. Okay, so... This is one thing I was kind of worried about, that the new factions wouldn't start popping up whenever time came along. Because you know how later on there's Sweden and all the stuff that is up there. Well, it's good that East Geats and West Geats kind of came in here, because early on it was literally just Denmark and there was nothing up here. But they're popping in, which is good. That's a good thing, because I was scared that that would not happen. So they are expanding more north while in the game. So, that's pretty good got 23 more years to go and then it, we're at 400 ce looks like we're going there's some gallic separatists here yeah gallia they were doing good but uh hey westrom still got Bertigallo. imagine if westrom made this their capital and got it up to like a hundred everything and then they just reformed the empire and just took everything out that'd be glorious Except they obviously can't because Galicia. I mean, they could probably take out Novara. And they could probably take out Visconia. And they could maybe take out Gallia. I mean, I don't know. You never know with West Rome. It could be the comeback of the century because they still have a couple provinces scattered throughout. Like right there. And Antioch as well. I mean, I still don't know how they're going to hold on to that. Whoa. So, Isagia has taken out all of Greece. 
like most of Greece, they don't have this place, the Chalk Chalkies or whatever. Even Athens. Oh, they did that cheat tactic, didn't they? That sucks. It's zero, though, so I don't know what happened there. Also, this is occupied. Eteria. So, this is West Rome's last major little island point. That's occupied by Navarra. Imagine if Navarra just took everything over. I don't want them to do that. It'd be cool if they did, but I hope they don't do that. Because it, it, it's kind of messed up. That's something that should never happen. But if they do, then all the power to them. Okay, we got Jin up here. Kumo XI. Those are Roman num numerals, not Chinese numerals. Stinky. Though That's supposed to... XI, that's supposed to be over there. Unless that's Z or something. Like, Xi or whatever, I don't know. Zumo Xi, something like that. But uh, Gale is not having a good time. Navarra's... Oh! Navarra, Navarra might actually take over most of Gale, yeah. I would be very proud of Navarra if they did that. Okay. Now what? Wait, what's up here? You guys are... Okay, that's two different places. Munster... Nobody's taken over all of Ireland yet. It's kind of a stalemate up there. Nobody owns these islands yet. Maybe Pictland will get them. Maybe uh, Hanover will go get them. Because Denmark doesn't exist. Denmark's not going to survive for long Maybe somebody will go up there and get it. You know what I'm saying? Um, anything going on in the Middle East? We've got the Sassanids. we got Parthia. Oh, so the Sassanids kind of... Kind of exploded. Not a good time to be a Sassanid, am I right? Whoa, that's literally all mountains. That's so bad. Who would want to live there? Okay. I mean, it'd be cool to live in a mountain, but not like a desert mountain. Like in a foresty mountain, that's kind of cool. But a desert mountain, no, no, no. It'd be hot, it'd be sandy, you slip on the sand, you slip and hit your head on a sharp rock. It's just not a good time. Look, oh, Navarra, they did take a lot of stuff. Except now there's some Visconian separatists here. Well, Gallia, they did okay. They did good for while they lasted. But now France is a big gory hole of uh, death. All I can say is, uh, well, somebody will win over France eventually. Don't know who. Could be Navarra. Could be Frisia. Could be Francia, maybe. Those are the ones that historically did it. I would put my money on Frisia, honestly. But Navarra, never underestimate Navarra. Navarra. There's Verona right there. And the Venetian Empire is kind of coming into play. There's no real Burgundy or anything yet. There's just... Oh, Byzantium's dead. Byzantium's almost dead. Like, F in the chat. Also, there's no independent Judea this time around. Well, occupied by Byzantine set. Whoa! Hopefully they actually go through and take everything back. That'd be awesome. So basically, this is all that's left of Byzantium, and then there's those islands. But uh, I'm not too hopeful for them. Maybe in this universe, Byzantium will fall before East Rome falls. I mean, they do have Sicily still. I mean, yeah, there's that. West Rome's only few provinces left are those. So it's Antioquia. Because nobody wants to go all the way across the Mediterranean to take that. No. So, yeah. There's that. Anything else going on? Okay, Vodadania has taken out the picks. So now there's a very strong force in northern Albion. And Hanover kicked out Denmark. We've already talked about that. Anything else just going on? There's some sieges going on here. Burgundy getting sieged out by actually rebels. And they're also out, Atlas. Why are they allied with Atlas? That's so random. Atlas. Why are you allied with Burgundy? Or Frisia? That's so random. 
that makes very little sense, but I... Do, you do you, okay? You do you, game. You do you. We got 10 more years, and then I'll save on camera, so that way... 300% get the save. Okay? The Navarese Separatists. So there's going to be... Uh, oh, these are Navara. Navarans or whatever. There's some Gallic Separatists as well as Navarese Separatists. So they might get some land. Maybe Gallia might have a comeback here. Gallia got some of Brittany. Some of those places. And their Separatists did not get that much, if anything at all. I mean, they're doing okay. Frisia is probably going to... Yeah, Frisia's already taken Paris. So Frisia looks like it's going to be the one to form France this time around. So F in the chat for Frankia. Sorry, Frankia, you didn't you didn't form your uh, fa your mother country this time around, your daughter country or whatever. Hey, the Frisian flag's kind of cool. They're out. Whoa. Oh, they're at war with Galicia. That's not that's not good for either of y'all. That's not good for either of you. So why does Frankia have all this? This is so random. That's extraordinarily random. I thought Frankia was just up here. Frankia might have... Frankia has some potential, honestly. Like, if they went through and sacked all of this in a war after Frisia had just got completely destroyed in a war with Gal Galicia, then they might actually do pretty good. Is this Galicia? No, it's Galicia. Okay, just want to make sure. Seven more years, and uh, then we're at 400 CE. So that's pretty nice. Sweaty's even left of Galway at this point. What are the... That's religions. There are Germanic and... As well as some Chalcedonian and Aryan religions coming in. The De Beaumont. The uh, Afo dynasty. Turving. So the De Beaumont is... Sounds, sounds like... Pretty cool. I hope Navarra forms France, honestly. That or Frisia or Francia. One of these three. Burgundy, I think, kind of is dead at this point. Burgundy, they just kind of took northern northern uh, France here. Northern Gallia, or Old Gallia, it looks like. So, how's Genoa doing? They've got Xena. Well, I mean, Gauls are okay. Venice is doing alright, I guess. Is Venice going to try to take this place, or is this Urbino? Bye bye, Sardinia. Oh, Sardinia. Okay, that's new. Wasn't expecting that. Where even is the... Where is West Rome even centered at anymore? They don't have any provinces up here anymore. They don't have any in up there, except maybe... No, that's Burgundy. This is their last province up there. Their last mainland province over there. Their last island province over there. Okay, well, look, Byzantium did take back Constantinople, so that's a good thing. And then, looks like this is where West Rome is going to retire to. So, uh, what can I say except F? West Rome has fallen. It's not completely dead, but it's not coming back. Urbino, oh, Urbino. That's a smaller move. That's what the Romans did back in the day. They kind of jumped across here and took out Greece. Oh. F. They lost to the Spartans at Thermopylae. Actually, wasn't Thermopylae, like, uh, up here? It might have been up here. It was... It, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it was up in this area. I know it wasn't here because it was past Athens. So, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure, sure it was up here. Because I remember playing, um... Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and it was up in this area. Thessaly. Yeah, sure, alright. Hey, look, we're at 399. So I'll pause right at 400. 3, 2, 1. Got it. First thing I'm gonna do, save game. Done. And now, let's take a look at the map. Okay, so the Visigoths, they've taken most of Byzantium up in the north. 
uh, the Galicians, they've taken most of Iberia, this is, this is, uh, dumpster fire, this is okay, I guess, maybe these guys will go on to form England, they are Druidist, so it'd be a Druidist England, these guys are Druidist as well, is there any Chalcedonian provinces, there's one Hellenic, there's a couple Aryan, Chalcedonian, so it's okay, I mean, We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll see what happens. Um, Hanover's kicked out Denmark. They're, these guys are expanding north, which is good. Um, let's check out Japan one last time. Okay, I'm fairly confident the blue guys are definitely going to form Japan, as Owari has taken out the purple and to a certain extent. Kino might, but I'm putting my money on the blue Owari. And uh, the pink boys are definitely going to form set Korea. So yeah, there's that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching alternate history number 2, 300 to 400 common era. And I guess Rome fell two times. So you guys got to witness the fall of Rome two different times. Hopefully this time was more interesting. Um, this is definitely going to be the permanent decision. Um, last time around, I guess Gallia was still here. This time it's not. Last time around, Galicia took over all of Iberia. This time it did as well. Last time, Navarra, I don't think, even showed up. This time, it did show up. Um, nothing else really too important to talk about. Urbino, kind of sieged out right now. I mean, Byzantium's still holding on. West Rome is barely alive by the neck on their butt. So, that's going to be it for this episode. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to like, subscribe, all that stuff. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your days, and I will see you all in the next video. Farewell, and goodbye.